Weather headlines as we look out over Des Moines right now. This is the coldest morning of the week, so this is where we bottom out. Windy warm up. We're going to feel the winds as early as Thursday late morning, especially for the afternoon. The dry streak continues. We're not looking at any great rain chances until next week. Finally on the map. As far as the temperatures to wake up to 30 degrees in Sheraton, Knoxville and Pella 31 in Grinnell 32 in Creston. Look at this 21 Audubon reporting right now 23 in Atlantic low 20s farther west of the metro farther to the north. You're starting to see 25 in Clarion 27 Hampton Webster City Mason City Charles City as well. Same for Esterville and around 32 right now in Algona as the temperatures are going to be climbing. Of course, once the sun rises, we'll be right around that the mid to low 50s by 12 o'clock. Clear skies, a lot of sunshine yet again, but we have the south winds returning today. Not too strong, but it is going to help get the temperatures back in the low 60s for our highs later on today. Overnight temperatures don't drop as much by 10 o'clock. We're going to be hanging out in the mid and upper 40s on our way right down into the low 40s. Upper 30s is where we bottom out for Thursday morning. So again, warmer than what we had this morning, not dealing with frost thanks to the south winds. But as we go into the 12 o'clock hour, low 60s, these winds really start to ramp up and that's whenever we start to get more of that uh, elevated fire risk. It's going to be in the high category for most of the state because of those strong winds, very dry conditions, relative humidity, very low with that dry air that we have. So we are going to see that climbing fire threat as we go into Thursday lingers a bit for Friday, but definitely peaking Thursday afternoon. 62 for a high today. Not too bad. Warmer than yesterday. Frosty morning. Yes, but we're not going to be dealing with any more frost as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning. Upper 30s not going to be uh, seeing much cloud cover either. Staying mostly clear. Not a lot of clouds in the forecast, to be honest, for the rest of this week. Some return for Saturday, but really not going to be anything that leads to any rain chances, unfortunately, because we do need it. At least you're looking at a very nice, comfortable weekend. Saturday and Sunday, 70s for the afternoon, even upper 70s by Sunday. Rain chances better. It's looking better compared to what we had yesterday. 30% chance and we'll be still above average in the low 70s.